From the challenges of tragedy can come some of the greatest examples of courage. And that's also true here in Northeast Ohio as anywhere else in the nation. There's a new book that's taking a look at 10 Ohio disasters that reveal true courage in the face of adversity. And joining us to talk about them is a dear friend and um, one of my mentors here at Fox 8, Neil Zerker. Mr. Zerker, and I have to say Mr. Zerker because Mr. I have Zerker. much respect for you, my friend. Oh. Goodness. Good to see you. You know, I remember we were when I was a young reporter. I used yes. to go out. Herb Thomas and I went out with you and Roger Powell, and you were treating <laughs> us. You were you yes. were basically showing us the ropes. Yeah. That was many many years. Roger ago. Powell was the one they called the bull. The bull. Yeah, yes, he was the yes, bull. Yeah, he no was. Doubt. He was strange. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's so great to be back here. I, yeah. I really thought I'd never be on the set again. Well, see, and it's, it's kind of great to sit here with you this morning. Now, how many books have you written so far? I've written 10 books so far. Okay, 10 books. This most, is your... of, most of them are about one tank trips, right. obviously. So this is kind years. of a diversion from that a little bit. Yeah, this is after I'd retired the second time from Channel 8 here mm -hmm. in uh, 2017, I think it was. Now, the book is called 10 Ohio, Ten Ohio Disasters, Disasters, Stories of Tragedy and Courage that should not be forgotten. Yeah, the idea was that when we wrote the book was the, that there are stories about what happened afterwards. Okay. And I wanted to find out, and that's what started the whole thing. Okay. Uh, I remember many of the stories because I covered, covered many of them as a reporter yeah. in the early years. In fact, every picture on the cover is a story that I covered at one time That's in, incredible. In were you career. the first reporter here at Fox 8? I, I think was the were, only reporter. The only reporter. Isn't that something? We're talking living history this yeah, morning. This, this was a lot. This when we used typewriters. Now, you, had, you, you picked 10 disasters, and uh, what made you pick these particular 10? Because you covered them? or Well, what other mostly reason? because I started with those that I had covered covered myself okay. as a reporter, okay. and then there were other stories that I'd wished I had covered that I was here at Channel 8 at the time. We're going to take a look at some of the pictures right now. I think okay. the first one is, is the, oh, the blizzard of 78. The Boy, blizzard of 78. You one. remember that one. Yeah. That was a big one. Virgil Dominic helped me with this one. Virgil, yeah. Uh, Virgil uh, shared his memories with this one, and I, I talked to a lot of the people around the state. Yeah including Mary Ellen Winthrow, who was uh, the Treasurer of the United States. She lived here in Ohio at the time. But we basically talked about how bad that storm was. I was and at Kent State University at that time, right before I graduated. And Virgil's the one that hired me at Fox 8 as well. Right. So, and yeah. that was the only time that Ohio Turnpike had ever been closed ever been completely closed. across the yeah. whole thing. And we have some great pictures in there that show about what happened. Some great stories that tell about what it was like living through that mm -hmm. uh, white mm -hmm. hurricane. Mm -hmm. The, God, the Fitchville Nursing Home Fire. Yeah, we all as reporters have stories that haunt us all of our lives. Mm -hmm. And that one certainly does. That's the day after John F. Kennedy was assassinated. Okay. And I got called to the story in the middle of the day. We had over 60 people died in this fire. 60 people, wow. Down near Norwalk, Ohio. And it's been pretty much forgotten because okay. yeah. it's happened the day after Kennedy yeah. was assassinated. Yeah. yeah. Uh, parachute over Lake Erie. I don't remember this one. This is a really strange disaster. It happened in 1967, shortly after I was hired full time here. Okay. There was a World War II bomber that took off from near Birmingham, Ohio, and had 20 parachutists on board. Okay. They were supposed to make a high altitude jump from five miles up. They somehow got mistakenly let out over Lake Erie. They mistakenly. didn't know it. Mistakenly. Yeah. And they came down, only two people survived. Wow, my goodness. And uh, we caught up with one of the survivors wow. 50 years later. Roger Blaw Fire. That was a big fire out okay. in Lorraine back okay. in the 1960s, wow. too. Yeah. Is that, it's, a, it's a freighter. It's the freighter. Yeah. It's as big as the Titanic. In fact, if you had stood it on end, it was taller than the terminal tower. Oh, my goodness. And this goodness. thing caught fire. It burned. And ironically, as I was finishing the book, okay. it caught fire again. Now, question. Do they know why it caught fire? It was just uh, the workers were working on it, getting ready to, sh to take it on sea trials when it caught fire the first time. Okay. We're going to look at the Silver Bridge collapse. I just want to see that, but I want to show it right there. Okay, real quickly, what's that about, Neil? That's the Silver Bridge disaster down on the Ohio River, Gallipolis, okay. Ohio. Okay. On uh, Near Christmas of uh, the 60s, this bridge on Christmas Eve collapsed. Okay. And there were over 40 trucks and cars on it trucks. at the time. Wow. And many people went to the bottom of the Ohio major River. Major tragedies. All right, this major, is major one. Tragedy. This is the one that this is probably the worst tornado to ever hit the Buckeye State. That was a Zenia tornado, yeah. yeah, in 1974. I, I, I was there at that one with our 
friends Peter Miller and Gary Corb. Peter Miller fact. and Gary Corb, man, those and names. Terrible, terrible storm yeah. wiped out most of the town down there. You remember what year that was? I'm 1974, August, 74. April, April 4th. My, April 4th. And a great story in there is this state patrolman who stopped in the middle of the tornado trying to rescue his own family to help a man who had been hit by the storm and was, was unconscious and was being robbed. Wow, wow, what well, great stories. And that just, a, just an example of what's in this book. 10 Ohio Disaster Stories of Tragedy and Courage That Should Not Be Forgotten. Neil Zerker, the first reporter, the only reporter for a while here at, yeah. at Channel 8. It was called Channel 8 back then, it WJW, right? WJW, yeah. City Camera News. City Camera News, yes. and, and yeah. the, the guy who taught me most everything I know yeah. about journalism. And I, and I made the mistake of saying one time, Neil Zerker, City News Camera. Did you say that yeah, on the air? Some, <laughs> some, some bizarre thing. It just goes to show that we're not perfect. It's good to see you, my friend. It really is. Love you, man. Love you. Nice Always to be back to see here you. On, on Fox 8. Stick around, man. You'll see some fun. I want to. i got to talk to Natalie for you. Yeah, talk to Nat. Yeah.